hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel this is ag update so in this video i'm going to show you how to bridge from the bnb smart chain mainnet to op bnb mainnet so for you to start this is what you need to do so you need to visit this site which i'm going to drop at the description of this video and in my telegram group so after you have navigated to this website what you need to do is to click on connect wallet so now you select your preferred wallet like metamax all right so you wait for it to load so now i'm going to click next now click connect so now after that what you need to do is to put down the amount that you want to bridge from the bnb chain to the op bnb i have like 2.84 dollar worth of bnb in my metamax wallet so you can see the balance here which is 0 0.01314945 so i'm going to bridge a little amount right so i'm going to bridge like the 0 0.84 dollar or let me say 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 that is 0 0.0037 bmb according to data from coin gecko at the return of making this video so i'm going to use 0 point right 0 3 7 okay i think this is almost one dollar so like 0 point 0.17 dollar for gas fee all together is 0 0.98 dollar make sure this is on mainnet now you click deposit now waiting for confirmation so those of you that are finding it hard to bridge this is how you can bridge from bnb mainnet to op bnb so the price is changing so all together this is what they are going to charge me so I'm just going to click market to give it at advance. See if it's going to reduce nothing. So now just click confirm. Confirm the transaction. Let's wait for it to process. Okay, so you can see transaction submitted. Deposit takes about one minute before they are considered finalized. You can view history here. Can view it on bsc scan as well so let's view the history so we need to wait for like one minute before we can receive it in our opbnb net account so since we are waiting for this transaction to be successful the transaction is still processing what you need to do now is to go to chain list and add opbnb mainnet to your metamax wallet i'm going to go to chain list chainlist.org so go to chainlist.org and you see connect just make sure to click connect and what you need to do is to type copy pmb Alright, guys so you can see opbnb mainnet what you need to do is to click on add to metamax then your wallet is going to pop out just need to click and approve the transaction or better still to make it easier for you again you can click on withdraw you can click on withdraw i mean you do as if you want to bridge from opbnb to bnb mainnet so just click switch to opbnb mainnet to make it easy for you and you'll wait for it to process like this so it's, you are going to see allow this site to add network so we are going to add the network for you direct so instead of you going to chain list if you feel it is stressful you can just click on withdraw then just click on approve adding so they have added the opbnb main net for you you just click switch network so let's confirm OPBNB in our wallet. 
all right open bnb mainnet cut it guys bnb mainnet and you can see the amount of bnb we bridge from the bnb mainnet to op bnb has arrived so why the price is not the same is because of the change in price crypto is volatile something like that so you can see we got the amount of bnb we bridge from the bnb smart chain to the op bnb so this is how you can bridge from bnb smart chain to op bnb very simple and easy so those of you finding it hard hope you are okay with this so i would love to hear from you on what you think about this at the comment section and if this video was helpful please give it a like if you are new to this channel don't forget to hit on the subscription button and this is a g update a friend in crypto thank you guys and many more greens to your wallet